Good morning and welcome to New Hope Community Church. We're glad that you're here with us this morning. If you're a guest with us, please feel free to fill out a connect card which should be in the pew in front of you so that we have what we need to send you information about what goes on here at New Hope throughout the week and not just on Sunday mornings. Those connect cards are not just for guests. If you're a member of our church family, please fill out any prayer requests that you have and then we meet every Tuesday morning as a staff to pray over your needs. Thank you for being here this morning. Our November men's breakfast is on the 10th of November at 8 a.m. Coffee is on at 7.30 a.m. And this month we have Tim talking about his trip down the Colorado River through the Grand Canyon. We hope to see you there. A big shout out today for our New Hope Quilt Club. Thank you ladies for your dedication and hard work. These precious ladies have now made and sent out over 1,000 quilts. That's right, 1,000. They have been sent to Nyonen, Uganda, all over the United States and several hospitals and care centers here in California. They have blessed hundreds right here at our New Hope Church through illnesses, inspiration, fundraisers, and baby dedications. Your ministry is spread far and wide. Thanks again, ladies, and God bless your hearts. November Senior Luncheon is coming up soon. There's a clipboard going around this morning to sign up and hold your spot for our Thanksgiving feast. More information next week. <laughs> On November 4th, we have the Gratitude Evening Service at 5 p.m. in the Sanctuary. We'll have communion and we encourage kids to be there too, although we do have toddler care for those that need it. We hope you'll join us on that evening for a special Thanksgiving message. I wish. I wish I could see my dad. I wish my family could be together for Christmas. I wish I had a dolly. A new dress. A new dress. A soccer ball. I wish I could have my mom. I wish my dad could play catch with me. 2.7 million children have a simple wish this Christmas. To feel special. To feel remembered. To feel loved by a parent who's far away. You can help. It starts with a gift. A simple present from their parent reminding them they are loved and not forgotten. And the gift of knowing the love and support of their Heavenly Father. This calls for believers to take action. So while mothers and fathers are behind bars, kids are left behind. Families torn apart. This calls for churches across America to rise up and deliver gifts to children on behalf of parents in prison. You and your church become the hands and feet of Jesus. You deliver God's love and bring hope to those who need it most. Families are restored. Children find joy. Parents experience God's grace. It starts with a gift. Since in 1982, Angel Tree, with the help of thousands of churches across the country, has reached more than 9 million kids with a gift the gospel, and a message from their incarcerated parent. These 2.7 million kids need to feel their parents love this Christmas, and they need to know Jesus loves them, starting with the ones right here in your community. It's simple. It calls believers to put their faith into action. It inspires you and your family to live out the real meaning of Christmas. You bless the child of a prisoner with a gift and the good news of Jesus Christ. Every child has a story. Every child has a wish. Every child deserves a chance. It starts with a gift. It starts with you. This Christmas, change the life of a child forever. <laughs> 